Once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a beautiful princess named Snow White. Her skin was as white as snow, her lips as red as blood, and her hair as black as ebony. She was loved by all who knew her, but her beauty made her stepmother, the queen, incredibly jealous. The queen possessed a magical mirror that she would consult every day. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all, she would ask. And the mirror would always reply, you, my queen, are the fairest of them all. This pleased the queen greatly. However, as Snow White grew older, her beauty surpassed that of her stepmother. One day, when the queen asked her mirror the usual question, it responded, Queen, you are fair, but Snow White is the fairest of them all. Enraged and consumed with jealousy, the queen ordered a huntsman to take Snow White into the forest and kill her. She demanded proof of Snow White's death by bringing back her heart. The kind-hearted huntsman couldn't bear to harm Snow White. Instead, he let her go and brought back the heart of a deer to deceive the queen. Lost and alone, Snow White wandered through the forest until she stumbled upon a small cottage. Inside the cottage, everything was tiny and orderly. Snow White, exhausted from her journey, lay down on one of the seven little beds and fell fast asleep. The cottage belonged to seven dwarfs who worked in the nearby mines. When they returned home and found Snow White asleep, they were astonished. After she explained her story, the dwarfs agreed to let her stay with them in exchange for helping with the household chores. Days turned into weeks, and Snow White lived happily with the dwarfs. Meanwhile, the queen discovered the huntsman's deceit through her magic mirror. Furious, she disguised herself as an old peddler woman and went to the dwarf's cottage. She gave Snow White a poisoned apple, and upon taking a bite, Snow White fell into a deep, death-like sleep. When the dwarfs returned home, they found Snow White unconscious and were heartbroken. They placed her in a glass coffin, unable to bury her because she still looked so alive and beautiful. Time passed, and one day, a prince who had heard tales of Snow White's beauty came to see her. Struck by her appearance, he leaned down and kissed her. The magical kiss broke the spell, and Snow White awoke. The dwarfs and the prince rejoiced. Snow White and the prince soon fell in love, and they invited the dwarfs to their wedding. The wicked queen, upon learning of Snow White's revival and impending marriage, was so angry that she fled the kingdom, never to be seen again. Snow White and her prince lived happily ever after, surrounded by their dear friends, the seven dwarfs and they always remembered the power of kindness and true love.